Good evening, Heresy fans, and welcome to my video on Pointless Nostalgia and how to magnetise the new Rhino. Um, I'm calling it Pointless Nostalgia because I actually have a kit to review. It's evidently not this kit because this is the second edition um, Warhammer 40k Rhino. For many of us, the first Space Marine tank that we ever owned. For me, the second. I actually had a Land Raider before I had a Rhino. Or two Land Raiders because they're in a box of two. I started um, my sort of hobby journey at the tail end of Rogue Trader. But really for me, my heart lies in second edition. I looked through it with rose-tinted glasses, uh, the wonderful box art of a photograph of a model on a bit of green flock. And I just, I loved this simple design. I, I love it. I still love it now. And that's why I've still got the box of this lovely Space Marine Rhino. Um, and for those of you that don't recognise this kit because you're young, <laughs> this uh, is the Space Marine Rhino. It was quite a lot smaller than the Rhino that we have today. Uh, and the plastic Rhino that you buy for Space Marines now is, I believe, the Mark II or Mark III C Rhino. Um, and that's actually the, a really lovely kit. That was like a reimagining that they did for, uh, I think, the tail end of third edition, uh, maybe fourth edition. Um, and if you are getting into Heresy, you will see that the Heresy uh, now has the Demios Rhino kit in plastic, which originally was a forgeord upgrade, which was supposed to sort of hark back to the uh, the second Ed Rhino. And um, when I did my magnetising the Dreadnought video, uh, I put a link in there where you could get your magnets from, and I linked it to a company called Zinge Industries, which is based round the corner from me. I know the owner of the place very well, lovely guy. Um, uh, great little company. And they do loads of random things here and there. Uh, so this is kind of a, a promo stroke review video. Um, and it is a promo video in the sense that they make a pointless nostalgia upgrade. And I call it a pointless nostalgia upgrade because it serves no purpose other than to make the Demos Rhino a little bit more like this one. Um, and it's a great little kit. So I have taken one of the new plastic rhinos and put this kit on it. So I'm now going to use my amazing camera panning skills, still using a car holder, to just tilt the camera down a bit so we've still got that picture in the back and introduce you to my Demos Rhino with the Zinge kit on. Uh, and all it does um, is it adds the rails to the side, um, flags to the back and the stowage canisters to match up with that second head Rhino look, that original Rhino look. And it's brilliant. It's pointless, but it's beautiful. And it's such a simple kit, such a cheap little kit to, to install. Um, I'll show you what the kit looks like. And this is it. And uh, it's really simple, actually. This is going to be a giveaway. Um, I'm going to review the kit. I'm going to put the link in the description below where you can order your own. Um, this is exactly how it comes. <laughs> um, and I'll open it up and show you these pieces in a minute. Uh, and I'm going to make a giveaway out of this one because then she sent me two of these kits. Um, one to stick on a tank to build and paint for myself and one to give away to a lucky viewer. Um, so we'll get onto that in a minute. So this is the new plastic Demos Rhino and I did say in the description this is Pointless Nostalgia plus how to magnetise the um, Rhino kit. Uh, the plastic Rhino kit's lovely. It does look just like the resin one. Uh, the only difference between the two is that it has... The what I would call the heresy style tracks, which are the tracks that sort of they look a bit like the ones that are on the Sakarans um, and the Land Raiders, uh, and it's a nice little touch. Uh, my one here also has the uh, Forge World um, Dark Angel doors on there as well, because I have Dark Angel doors on everything. Um, and uh, what the Zinge kit comes with is it comes with two of these bars for each side, a piece of plastic card, well, two pieces of plastic card that you cut to. To length because you can put this whatever length you want. Um, you get a blanking plate at the bottom here which smooths off there and allows you to put these um, two containers and then you get a pair of flags which come completely flat but as you can see here you can heat bend them really easily. I just stuck them in some boiling water uh, and bent them into sort of a flowy flag look um, and it looks really really nice. Uh, it's hard to see when it's on this kit so um, I do have one that I prepared earlier because I've actually bought one of these kits myself. Um, I don't review things um, for people if they just ask me to. I tend to review stuff that I like. So this is the same kit on the Demios Predator. 
um, but painted up so you can see there's a motorbike going out past that, uh, that and you can see exactly the same upgrade kit fits on the Rhino perfectly. This is the resin Predator, not the newly revealed plastic Predator, which of which I will be buying many. Um, same flags, the only difference I did with these flags is I just sliced off the, um, can you see sort of like that, uh, it's like a 3D um, border to the flag which I sliced off so I could fit the Dark Angels uh, flags on better. Um, and they just glow on the side of the tank and it's pointless but it does make it look ever so much slightly better because it looks a little bit more like that with these things and anyone that owned these knew that they lasted for about three seconds before you break the side of them. I also said in the video that this would be how to magnetize the Rhino so I've got a really quick and easy way to do. The Rhino now and all I believe all Harris um, vehicles are going to come with the turret hatch sprue and the turret hatch sprue gives you two hatches but uh sorry two sort of turret rings and then lots of different um hatches and it's really simple to magnetize if you want to now i magnetize mine anyway not because i wanted to sort weapons but i like to be able to sort of pivot the bolters so they look where it's supposed to be shooting I'm pretty certain my camera is actually tipping off so i'm going to just raise it up a bit no expense spared there we go right so, how do you magnetise your Rhino? When building your Rhino, uh, I used I used a spare bit of plastic um, from the Land Raider, actually the um, Spartan, because I replaced the Spartan with a four-door door. But a piece of sprue uh, running across the inside as you're building it here, underneath there, sits flush. And I stuck two um, eight by two mil magnets, also purchased from Zinge. I should be on commission. Um, and then the difficulty is, is you need to keep using reusing these turret rings. So just don't glue those in. And they fit nice and snugly in there and it allows them to slide around. And then with the actual hatch, if you just, um, <laughs> as the camera slowly drops, um, I just glued a, a five by two mil magnet inside. That's all I had to do. There's no cutting, no sticking required. Well, there is sticking, but no cutting required. Um, and that allows you to glue your hatches on. Um, I don't glue these top pieces on. Uh, because that's nice storage for the extra bits uh, and I always glue my doors shut because I can't be bothered to paint the interior uh, but if I wanted my Havoc launcher and combi bolter option um, and I'm doing it one-handed now because I'm trying to hold the camera up uh, so I can just put my Havoc launcher in take that one off and put my combi bolter on and it's now got the uh, optional uh, Havoc launcher um, if you wanted to put combi weapons and stuff you get loads of these um, hatch brews so if you've got the spartan from the box you'll have a hatch brew with all of these hatches on that you're not using um so you, you'll be able to magnetize multiples from there so it's a really quick and easy thing to do just blank off underneath just put a bit of sprue a bit of plastic card whatever you want straight under there uh two eight by two magnets and i've gone for eight by two because they're strong um five by two mil magnet just glued inside the hatch see if we can get it focused there we go uh and then you leave your turret rings free and then your turret ring just sits on top and then clippy clippy clip there's no contact between the magnets that's just because you've got a big magnet underneath that holds it together um so i tried to i'm trying to make the videos as quick as possible because i got told off that i said my last video was going to be five minutes and it was 12. so this is the zinge rhino upgrade kit um i think i've glued them a little bit too low here because you couldn't actually open the doors uh you can glue them much higher i glue them much higher on my uh predator if you see um, and it serves no purpose other than to give us a bit of nostalgia back to the glorious second ed rhino kit. So competition, I said there was going to be a competition, there is. So this is um, a kit that could come to you. This is what the kit looks like. In fact, let's uh, get that kit out and have a little uh, nosy at the parts. Um, and I'll put them all back in the bag and send them off to you on my expense. If you would like to win a Zinge kit, um, and I will open this up to Worldwide, in case we have Worldwide viewers, uh, and I will post it to you. Uh, all you have to do is comment below and say, yes, please. And then I will use a really random way of sorting through those comments. Uh, I will probably do number everything and then use like a random number generator or something. And we will work out a winner and I will post this on to you so you can make one. And if you don't win, um, or if you can't wait for me to work out who's going to win one, um, then... Uh, the link is in the description for you to go and buy your own. So this is what the kit looks like. You've got these 
Uh, three sprues. So these are your stowage boxes. Da 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 da. Uh, you get uh, four of these, which are your um, basically the corner bars pieces that mount onto the side. Uh, you get your two flags, which come completely straight as an arrow, and then you just dip them in uh, hot water or with a hairdryer and bend them. And like I showed you on the Predator there, you can easily take that off if you wanted to uh, have a completely flat flag like it is in the original. Um, you can just slice those off and they come off quite nice and easy. It's lovely quality resin. Uh, and then you get two of these plastic card um, tubes. Uh, if you want to know about measurements, these ones were cut at... 37 millimeters so they were cut 37 millimeters to get that length but if you wanted to mount it a little bit further back you could do there's a bit of play there so and you get loads of it so if you balls it up you can fix it it's not a problem so that is the zinge kit i love it i hope you like it um please comment below uh feel free to ask any questions i'll try and answer them as best i can um what was your first Space Marine tank? Was it one of these rhinos? Do you have any of these gorgeous boxes like I do? Um, I've gone over 10 minutes. I failed in my mission. But uh, that is the Zinge Rhino kit. That is how to magnetise the new Demos Rhino. And uh, till the next video, take care.